Good day and welcome to the channel. In this uh, short video, we're going to unbox and set up the MetaQuest 2. This is the cheap 128 gig version. I'm gonna put a link in the top right hand corner that you are probably gonna be interested in. How to use a cheap 20, 30, 40, 50, $100, cause a lot of them in that category, plastic headset like this that you insert your phone into and use for virtual reality. By the way, short version, it doesn't really work well. So uh, the video is quite short. So take a look at that if, if that's the kind of thing you're interested in. Other than that, this is as cheap as you're gonna get uh, for a decent VR uh, kit. This cost me $450 Canadian on sale. That came with the uh, two remotes, the headset, and it came with Resident Evil. Now that was about $100 off the, the regular price and the regular price did not include Resident Evil. It also includes an additional game called Beat Saber, which is a game in which you use a saber and you slice at things that are musical. So this would be about 375 US. So let's show you the box first. I mean, rocket science, I know, but there are things on here you may wanna see. So the most interesting thing in here that you wouldn't expect is that it comes with batteries. We'll put up the full specifications here on the screen, uh, but as you can see, it does not require a PC. It is a standalone unit. Nothing on the sides, although they did put a nice little pull tab here to pull the plastic off. Nice. So of course this is Meta, not Oculus anymore. Oculus is gone. And Meta, of course, used to be Facebook. Let's just open that up. Well, it's pretty nice packaging. Uh, I would look at this packaging and think, what a waste. This uh, is just a lot of materials that we don't need, and I really hate waste. But I will say it is nicely packaged. Okay, let's pull it out. A couple of controllers. No doubt that's the power pack to charge it up. Resident Evil download code. And the main unit. And if you have glasses, there's an eyeglass spacer. That's it for the box. Yeah, charger. USB-C charging cable. And the most valuable part of all, the manual. How to use your headset. Okay, safety and warranty guide. Don't use it until you throw up, I'm sure is pretty much what that says. And don't let it cut off your circulation and mostly don't sue us. And I can see here it says, if you're going to be standing up, moving around, make sure you don't do anything stupid like, you know, um, do it in a room with the table in the middle or something silly like that. Just be careful, common sense. If they don't say it, somebody will sue them. So there's your components. Pretty straightforward. And there's all the buttons for the controller explained. Silicone cover, in case you're going to have a bunch of people playing it and you don't want to get everybody else all gross with your grossness, you put the silicone cover over top. And this says to grab the lenses on the side, obviously not on the front, and don't leave a finger, fingerprint, but move the lenses to the left or to the right as they do shift to fit your, your eyes. And the little stickers on here say, no liquid cleansers, and keep away from direct bright sunlight. And you can see here they do slide. It's hard to see, but in there it says one, two, three, and as you slide them, you've got your three different positions. And I am gonna put on the silicone mask because a few people will be using this and can get pretty sweaty playing some of these games. So you wanna be able to clean this off. It is washable. So the last thing is this little cardboard cover on the outside. You can pull this little tab and pull it off, or you could just tear it here. I'm gonna tear it there. <laughs> so I uh, finished setting this up off camera and I'm going to explain uh, this now because it's actually easier to do off camera. Uh, a couple of things. One, this does pivot, which is nice. Secondly, uh, it is prone to scratching. So scuffing, I should say. So just be aware of that. Uh, another point, these uh, little cameras are actually really, really helpful. There's four of them. When you first put it on, you get an augmented reality. If you're not familiar with AR, uh, basically what that means is it'll overlay a, an image of what it wants you to see on top of what's actually in your room, which is great. So in other words, you can walk around with it for a bit uh, and set it up. So you power it up using the power button right there. Volume controls are right there. 
the first thing it'll have you do is go through a, a little setup wizard. And one of the things in there is to pull the little tabs out of the bottom of here uh, for the batteries. So after you've done that, it will ask you to use your pointer to square out an area in the room in which you're going to play. And that allows it to ensure that you are not going to bump into things and fall on things. Specifically, you should be careful with pets. Too easy to trip on. Now, as far as how do you get Resident Evil 4 actually on this unit, well, you take your camera on your cell phone and you scan that code. It'll take you off to uh, the store.meta.com or Deem code, and you enter the code that's at the bottom here. Once that's done, it will appear in your apps, which you can see in the unit itself. Then the question is, how do you get your free Beat Saber? A link will arrive in an email for you automatically. Once you sign in to Oculus, Meta, whatever you want to call it, into the Quest 2 webpage. So you click the link in your email and complete that activation and then bingo, it just shows up also in the apps that are here. Last thing to show you uh, is the headset adjustment, which is pretty you know, straightforward, pretty common sense. You can adjust it there. Uh, and this, when it's on your head, you can expand and contract it while it's on your head quite easily. It's actually a pretty nice uh, setup. So overall for, I don't know, 450, 460, something like that, Canadian, let's call it 350, 375 US, this is a pretty good deal. I'm very happy with it, and I've had a bunch of these units over the years. Hey, we'd love it if you'd give us the big thumbs up. Super appreciated. Uh, subscribe's also great. And uh, if you have any questions, get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because it's YouTube and everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.